Hello everyone, my name is Matthew David, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to exploit the Active Directory Certificate Services vulnerability with NTLM RelayX. So for this demo, here is all of the uh, machines that we'll need in order to exploit this vulnerability. First thing we need is a network connected Linux virtual machine. Second thing is a domain controller. Third thing is an Active Directory Certificate Services Server with web enrollment installed and enabled. And then finally, we need a Windows 10 workstation logged in as a low priv domain user. And all of these machines uh, are fully up to date uh, as this is a exploit that is still currently working and unpatched. So to begin, we can make sure that all of our stuff is up to date. So here is our domain controller. And if we check for updates, you can see that it's up to date. And here is our certificate server. And if we check for updates, you can also see that is up to date. And here is our Windows 10 PC. And if we check for updates, we can see it's also up to date and AV is completely enabled. So. To start, we can go um, back to our Kali Linux virtual machine, and we're gonna wanna run the NTLM RelayX command first. And for the target, you're gonna give it the certificate server along with this path, uh, which is to the web enrollment uh, service. Then you're gonna give it uh, these parameters and make sure that the template is domain controller as that's uh, what we're gonna be using to trigger authentication. So click enter. Now we can go over to another terminal and we're going to be using the dementor.py tool to uh, coerce authentication from the domain controller to our NTLM RelayX server. So the first IP is the host uh, that's running the NTLM, uh, NTLM RelayX server. So that's my Kali Linux virtual machine. Second IP address is the IP address for the domain controller. And then the user we're going to be logging in as is just a normal low priv domain user and we're going to be giving it the testlab.local domain. So I'm gonna hit enter. You can see we get some output. And if we go back to NTLM Relay X, we get a certificate. So we can control C that to stop it because my setup, it will continue to go. Um, and then we can also go back to Dementor and it finished. And now uh, we can take one of these certificates and pass it using Rubius in order to uh, get domain admin access to the entire network. Um, so to do that, we can go to our low priv uh, user on their Windows 10 PC. And first thing we can do is just check the privileges and make sure that we are indeed a domain user. And here you can see under global group memberships, we are only a domain user and nothing else. And then we can uh, pass the ticket uh, with NTLM uh, RelayX using Rubius. And what I'm gonna do here is copy and paste uh, these three commands, and then I can explain what each of them do. So the first command is uh, downloads and executes a custom AMC bypass that I've made. Uh, the second command, uh, downloads and executes the latest version of Rubius and PowerShell. And then the final command, which I haven't run yet, is the one that will actually uh, request a ticket using the certificate that we got, and it will pass the ticket in order to make us a domain admin. So we'll remove the placeholder text from the certificate parameter, and then I will go to our Kali Linux virtual machine copy the uh, certificate we got for the domain controller. And then we can go back to our Windows 10 PC and paste it. And then we can click enter. And as you can see, the uh, ticket was requested successfully and it was imported successfully. And now we should be able to dump all of the domain hashes with a tool such as uh, SharpCats, um, MimiCats, or I like to use better safety cats. So we can copy these commands.
First command just downloads and executes a better safety cats in memory. And then the second command obviously invokes it. Okay, and now that we got a prompt from better safety cats, we can then use the desync command in order to dump all of the hashes for the domain. And you can see that we were successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a quick demo of the Active Directory Certificate Services vulnerability and uh, how it can be exploited with NTLM RelayX. Thanks.